Jaden Sancho has refused to apologize to Eric Ten Hag after he was being asked to. Yeah. Anyways, the young man won't be training with the Manchester United first team. So for all those who still don't understand, eh? Sancho is now effectively banished from the first team training and will not be considered for selection. Yeah, that's what it is. The news right now is that he has refused to apologize to Eric Ten Hag for what he did. But one thing Sancho needs to know is that there is only going to be one winner. Yeah. Eric Ten Hag is the, is the manager of Manchester United. He is backed by the senior executive at the club. Even the owners of the club, they will also back him up. So, there's no way a manager can allow a player to challenge his authority. That's the talk of in public. And whether that in terms of discipline, Ten Hag doesn't take nonsense. Bro, this man stood up to Ronaldo and made sure that Ronaldo left Manchester United. So, I'm sure he's never going to have an issue when it comes to you know, standing up to Sancho. That's even a small thing. The only thing that Sancho will have to do right now is to back down and apologize. Yeah, he can't win the fight. He cannot. Maybe he will just have to do that in private and not allow us to see it. Like, you know, you know but Eric Ten Hag is in charge of Manchester United, not Jaden Sancho. I remember when under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, some United fans where they were crying <laughs> that they want a manager that, that, that is authoritative and ruthless. Now that we have one, so people are now complaining that this one is so harsh. Nya, nya, nya. Uh, go and check any successful team in the world. They all have a manager who is ruthless and take no rubbish from players. Sancho is, is even supposed to is supposed to be happy that a manager told him to increase the standard at work. You understand? Someone is telling you that you have to increase your standard, that you have to impress him or you have to put in the work. Why are you angry? You want the manager to pamper you and say it in a mild way? <laughs> rubbish! Nonsense! Ferguson said, when, um, Ferguson said that when Ronaldo, came, when Ronaldo came to Manchester United, he was criticized heavily for his performance on the field. The manager had to tell him that you go, you have to see, you have to step up your game. Oh. And Ronaldo took his advice. And right now, come on, we already know Ronaldo is not the player that everybody wants to be like. That's the player everyone wants to be like. Why? Because a successful manager was ruthless to him, told him what he wanted to tell him, criticized him severely, heavily, and the guy was ready to take the talks, you know, and you know, turn it to something positive. Yeah, so that's what it is. Nobody likes to be shouted at, but you just have to take responsibility and not look for more excuses. Ten Hag is not afraid of sag letter. It is either the players are disciplined and are ready to give their 100% every day. But he will force them to do it. He will force them to do it. He is not afraid to you know, discipline any player. He's not afraid at all. Take it or leave it. I love what the coach is doing. As far as me, I'm concerned. <laughs> Ten Hag is doing a great job in acting very tough and showing the player that yes, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Yeah, I've been missing this since the days of Alex Ferguson. I know if the hack is given more time, he will turn things around. That one is what I'm very, very sure of. In another Manchester United news, Harry Maguire's mother, Zoe, is not happy at the negativity thrown at her son in every game. She said that you know, the abuse and negativity that you know, her son receives from fans and pundits and even the media is disgraceful and totally unacceptable. And that she does not wish this you know, to anybody. You understand? Madai, your son is very stubborn. No? You know, he's just stubborn. He knows what to do. He knows what to do. He has given an offer, but he doesn't want to leave. Someone was given an opportunity to leave West Ham peacefully. He said, ah, I'm, no, no, no. I want to stay. Now he wants to fight for his place. Oh, uh, God. Where be the place? She be have surprised him in the last match. We don't do him now. You go there, you go score one goal. Another one goal. Don't worry, there's more to come. <laughs> England needs to stop all this hyping. They need to stop all this hyping rubbish. You know? You can't leave, you know, Tomori on the bench and be playing Maguire. So who is not the starter for his club? Maguire. When last Ma Maguire played for Manchester United? If a player is not doing well, you have to stop the pampering. If you saw the way that Arsenal fans they were rejoicing two weeks ago, as soon as Maguire came in as a, as a substitute, oh my guy, I just lost hope. <laughs> See, it is normal for a mother to speak and you know, for and stand by her son, especially when the world is against him. But it still doesn't change the fact that people will stop the backlashes. It won't. This is the real world. Nobody cuddles anybody in the real world. You just have to take responsibility. Take the negativity and turn it into something positive. There's some place where the biggest club in the world. What were you expecting? Just praises? No! It comes with the ups and downs now. It comes with the hills and valleys. 
it is a gift and a curse <laughs> he just has to live with it that's the truth do you know how many people that have lost money because your son kept kept on doing own goals you know when people say their money go hmm you know how many games people say their game don't boss <laughs> Truth is, I would advise him to quit football and avoid all this embarrassment. He doesn't have to give up on the game. Me, I've not even given up on my own YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. so, so why should he? <laughs> I don't care about mix and mixes. I care about consistency. People are gonna talk. But what do you do about the outside noise? You ignore. All the greatest players in the world, they ignored. Sergio Ramos, Cannavaro, General Gattuso, Roy Keane. They're all ignored. Don't let other people's opinion become your reality. Yeah. However, if you know that the club does not want you, then count it as your loss. Take the money that they offered you and make a move to where you're most appreciated as a player. Maybe West Ham, maybe Saudi Arabia, or even China, and then build up again from there. I think Maguire knows what to do. He's just being stubborn. And for his mother, I understand where she's coming from, you know, but that's the way life is. This is football. It comes with the blessings and it comes with the insults. <laughs> and other news, and Ronaldo will be missing up to seven matches, including, you know, a big Premier League clash. So United will be playing without... Onana in the crucial part of the season and this is due to the fact that Andre Onana will be leaving the club to feature in the African Cup of Nations which will be taking place in January and February. Ah, I'm very 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 much happy for this young man honestly. You know, I remember when this guy had to you know quit the Cameroonian national team when he had a you know, fallout with their coach Rigobert Song. Yeah, and you know recently he was called out, he was called back, you know, sorry, I was you know included in you know the cameroon squad in the international game against burundi and they won 3-0 and in and onana was exceptional in the game anyways since onana will be going to the nation's cup what me, what that means is that it's going to miss many matches though it's going to miss Tottenham match it's going to miss the match against wolves the match against um west against west ham united i think and aston villa yeah 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 those are the matches in addition he will also miss, you know, the two-legged Carabao Cup semi-final if United get that far. So he's going to miss those ones. Plus, also, you know, the fourth round of the FA Cup is going to miss that. The first Champions League last 16 ties are scheduled to take place a week after the conclusion of the African Cup of Nations. So our manager knows what he's doing when he signed, you know, Ate Bayende. Yeah, he knew that this day would come where the guy has to be in a club i don't know perform and be the, you know, just he knows he knows he knows this time will come <laughs> talking about idea that will come i'm hearing that carscale will be signing for manchester united in january oh god <laughs> i don't get this going for fabio romano me i don't believe it nah 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 napoli would not even sell they won't i lie see your seamen and carscale they would never sell them i feel this is just a news from the uh, vine and by this other news for today do well to click on the subscribe button and if you haven't yeah please click on the subscribe button and yeah do well to also like this video i will be back in the next video but until then guys ooh. <laughs>